So far in our discussions, we've learned about four different financial formulas. Those are simple interest, compound interest, savings plan, and loan. We've gone over what all the variables represent, and we've looked at examples of how to work with each of these formulas. However, it's re also really important for you to know when to use which of the formulas and what situations. So let's go through a quick overview of things that you want to check for when you're trying to decide which of these formulas to use. For the simple interest formula, remember that this is pretty rare. We almost always deal with compound interest. So if we're dealing with a simple interest formula, really the only cases where these come up are going to be casual loans like to family and friends or government bonds. These are really going to be the only applications where you're going to be using the simple interest formula. Look for the word simple when describing those situations in your, in your equations. You've almost always got this descriptor in there. Compound interest is used when you're dealing with a one-time deposit. You're taking a big amount of money and just leaving it alone for a long time or a small amount of money. But the idea is all that's happening is we're getting that one fund. We're going to put it in and then leave it alone. So that's really the key. Savings plan and loan formulas have these regular repeated things going on. So if you're doing stuff on a regular basis, you're going to be in the savings plan formula area or the loan formula area. The savings plan is when we're making regular repeated deposits. A loan is where you're making regular repeated payments. I like to remind myself that the negative and the exponent kinds of kind of reminds me that I'm dealing with payments here instead of making money with the positive value here. Another way that I like to tell the difference between these is if I'm doing lots and lots of repeated values, like every week, every month, look for that kind of every something. So you, you know you're doing it more than once. In fact, you're usually doing it lots and lots of times. But with a savings plan, you're starting with zero dollars. and hoping to have lots of money at the end. You've got, you're getting all of the money that you're depositing and you're getting all of the interest that that's accumulating over time. With a loan, you are borrowing lots of money and hoping to end with owing zero dollars. So, Saving up with deposits is your saving plan. Making regular payments on borrowed money is your loan plan. So hopefully this will help uh, give you some differentiation and what to look for. These are one time. These are regular and repeated.